Good morning and happy, happy Friday to you. This morning we're going to look at a psalm. I remember what I said to you last year. It is good to read a psalm a day. To be honest with you, um, especially since I've been going through my medical journey, it's been difficult to keep up at times. But try your best to read a psalm a day, to read a Proverbs a day. But regardless of what you do, stay in the Word of God. Stay prayed up each and every day. So we're simply going to read this psalm. And I think it's quite applicable to what we were talking about this week and last week, the promises of God. It describes who God is. Is that we man we make plans but God has the final say and he has that final say because he made a promise because his word is exalted above every situation every circumstance even you and your plans and your desires let's read Psalms 33 and see what he has to say to us this morning let the godly sing for joy to the Lord it is fitting for the pure to praise him Praise the Lord with melodies on the lair. Make music for him on the ten-stringed harp. Sing a song of praise to him. Play skillfully on the harp and sing with joy. For the word of the Lord holds true and we can trust everything he does. He loves whatever is just and good. And the unfailing love of the Lord fills the earth. The Lord merely spoke and the heavens were created. He breathed the word and all the stars were born. He assigned the sea its boundaries and locked the oceans in vast reservoirs. Let the whole world fear the Lord and let everyone stand in awe of him. For when he spoke, the world began. It appeared at his command. The Lord frustrates the plans of the nations and thwarts all their schemes. But the Lord's plan stand firm forever. His intentions can never be shaken. What joy for the nations whose God is the Lord, whose people he has chosen as his inheritance. The Lord looks down from heaven and sees the whole human race. From his throne, he observes all who live on the earth. He made their hearts so he understands everything they do. The best equipped army cannot save a king, nor is great strength enough to save a warrior. Don't count on your war horse to give you victory. For all its strength, it cannot save you. But the Lord watches over those who fear him, those who rely on his unfailing love. He rescues them from death and keeps them alive in times of famine. We put our hope in the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him, our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. Let the unfailing love surround us, Lord, for our hope is in you alone. This is the this word of the Lord, and it ties in so beautifully with the reality that God has made us promises, and he is faithful to keep them. Have a wonderful weekend.